there we go. Um, the, well, you can't tell, but this is a green plaid flannel PJ outfit, complete with like button pockets and pl green plaid flannel um, pants. And my aunt used to get these for me for Christmas when I was a teen, so I decided to do that with the hat. I was going to originally do two um, streams, but I was waiting for all my stuff to come in. And then I just wasn't feeling, I, I was like, do I want to do ASMR today? I don't know if I want to do it today. I think, if anything, I will do it tomorrow. Drink of choice today, Pepsi Max. I've got two bottles of this, so. But yeah, let me see. Ooh, did I turn on my bot? I don't think I did. Turn on the bot. Okay, and I think all my sound alerts are on. Thank you, Mom, for that voiceover. Um, let's see. Oh, it's not on. Interesting. Okay, hold on for a second. Let me turn on all of this. Turn on the host. Donations, I'm still working on that. I'm actually trying to get Kofi coffee. I'm trying to get that thing going. Turn that on. And follows. Or, yeah, turn this all on. So we got our sound alerts going. Abby, what's good? How's it going? Okay, so we turn that. Okay. So we are. We are definitely good. I got all my stuff popped up. Uh huh. What's going on, Slender? I'm doing well. I just, I was resting a little bit, waiting for my stuff to come in. I got all my stuff, so I'm, I'm happy. What's going on, Joe? I just hate that you can't see. This is green. This is like, if you want to look on Instagram, though, I have posted three pictures on Instagram if you want to see um, what this all looks like. So yeah. You respect? Yeah, yeah. And then how's the volume anyways? Is it, is the volume good? Is it too loud? One of these days I will get it right, you're good. I was going, uh, it's going pretty good. Finished my last exam today. I'm, I'm good, it was my day off. I've got heated socks. I've got slippers, I've got lug boots, I've got a 20 pound blanket, I've got two pictures frame, two picture frames, 8x10 waiting for Leah's autograph pictures. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm good to go. Like, yeah, I, sounds good. All right, cool. Thank you. Bra, you live in KC8. My feet, it can be summertime. If my socks are off, my feet get cold. I, I can't, I just can't. My feet need to always be warm. Except for if you want to cool me off, you take off my socks, and my whole body temperature drops. Just playing Monster Hunter World? Wow. Well, you know what, Slender? You know what? I'm out of this crap. And then, Abby, um, I don't know if you're in the Discord, but I, I have a Discord, too. I, I know you were in Narcs looking for advice on, on video games. If you want to jump in mine... Um, you're listening to Radio August. Well, could try to help you Dark out. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock, and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. Wales. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21 year old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief <laughs> Dupont is calling the crime a violent left, and right. despicable What's act. What's going on, Rose? Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. Is that loud? You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Sorry. Psychedelic DNA, yeah. Exactly. 
Rewind. I got an achievement. Oh, death <laughs> to watch this again. What? You're listening to Radio. Are you serious? Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock, and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Ms. Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief Dupont is calling the crime. I'm gonna take care of my animal act. science classes, guinea pigs Anyone over Christmas break. About Ooh. The murder is urged to get in touch okay. Via the department's When's that? Tip hotline. It should be like a week. Uh, it's about horrible. a week, right? Indeed, it is. Yeah, rewind two minutes button. Watch, I'm gonna have to skip this game. You know what? We're done. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Alright, what if I trash this? You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? I spent time in prison, but I never got caught neither. Splendid. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's going to think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Damn. <laughs> Understood? He told me not to say anything. I think we're in an organized band room tomorrow as well, but I don't know who is all going to be there. I'm hoping uh, some people I normally talk to show up. Splendid. Nice. Splendid. You sat your tough detective saying splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different... Don't like the look in his eyes? You'll be deprecated. 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 We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In Brighton we'll news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. Freaks me out. The eight-month-old basset hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Mundo. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, it's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? Basset hounds. Um. Yes, the chief said it may be a while. I can see you don't mind getting your hands dirty, though. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. Okay. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Watch, they take me all, all the way back to the beginning. Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. He likes to paint. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the Giggity. way like it. <laughs> oh, wow. No, I don't like back doors. Just finishing. You don't believe? That sounded serious. Hey, you she's from... Serious job to do. She's the girl I, who... I knocked on her window. 
Hey, Slim, what's going on? Just popping to say hi to Lurk. Have a good stream. Thank you, Slim. Appreciate you. Guys, remember? She was the... And, um... She's the one I kept saying I can't tell if she's cute or not. Yes, your slums from my sister's uh, stream. I remember, yeah. Good to see you, though. She's a cutie, though. So we've got Violet, we've got Brown. Violet should actually be named, like, Rojo or Red. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. Yeah, let's do it. So, what's your question, Sam? <laughs> the fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? Enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one, and that's Sam the Fool. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. So which room are you in, Sam? Good. We're neighbors. Just knock if you need me. Oh, yeah. Too many segments. Segments which traced along the sides of my face and into my mouth. Stretching it wide. Talking about her, what's stretching what? Wide? I wanted to say ride. Welcome back. <laughs> was that like who I can change into? Room and floated there. I was free to go, along with the worm, to observe for the bag lady. To do its bidding. It would eat me if I refused. Perhaps starting with my brain. Though it hadn't yet decided. And was curious about starting with feet. Yeah. So I left and observed with the bag lady as I went. And relayed my thoughts through the worm. A new life with the bag lady's worm inside my brain. Small talk with the servers at the restaurant. Weird. Uh, let's visit the guest house. Man, oh man, they're really popping. Wait, what the fuck? Good, you got my message. Oh, Chief Inspector Dupont. What? I wasn't sure you'd come. But I suppose you're between jobs? Dude, is there like a union? Yeah. Yeah, we know him and we know the terror uh, reader. Dude. No, uh, the, the last game I played, Contradiction. He was the detective in Contradiction. He was also, um, uh, what's that game? Uh, Jimmy. He was Jimmy in, in uh, Dead... What's that game? Oh my god, why am I blanking out on that game? Jimmy with the baseball bat. Small New York City trope that do 10 different shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead by, not Dead by Daylight. Oh my god, why am I blanking on the video game that he was in? Hold on, let me pull this up. At Dead of Night, at Dead of Night, that's the one. I actually didn't even see the game yet, but at dead of night. So he's at dead of night contradiction in this game. Oh my god, this this guy is the man. Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Hey. Sam. That's your cover now. So, the job. Director Shaw. 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. 
It all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. To be honest, and I thought she'd probably been smoking something. <laughs> taken seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? I feel like he got promoted from that case about the school in contradiction and is now working behind the desk and now I have to do the dirty work for him. Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. No. You don't have any real Can't promise you that. Understand, but you help me out, I'll help you. Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. <laughs> spell it. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. Why am I... Okay. Um... Ah, all here. Runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? What she told you? What she talking about with this? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? <laughs> Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. In her bedroom. She was naked. Strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. Well, shit. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Um. Oh, fuck. I... I'm gonna leave that one alone. Obviously. Anyone who walks in predicts a murder, then that murder happens. Oof. Suspicious. Suspicious. What do we know? Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Crescentine and, um... These cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. You don't like her? <laughs> Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him. She seems too timid. All I'm asking is that you dig a little deeper than the Chief. I had nothing to do with Dorota's death. Neither here. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. They're too passive? I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. Popping pills. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Mm-hmm. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though. Don't they? <laughs> Oh, Joe Lou Serena, yeah, she's she's yeah, she's definitely sassy. Um, nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry, I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Perfect timing, <laughs> yeah. 
Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. He's kind of a grouch. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. Oh. These little cutscenes uh, of their body movements are... It, yeah, it is weird, because I'm just kind of like... I feel like, with her at least, I probably should have taken her to dinner and a movie first. <laughs> I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. I mean, you could ask them to leave, but they'd probably know already. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. Oh god, what... Honestly, what hotel doesn't have murderers and killers stay at it? I'm being, I'm being serious, too. It's not the first time I've harbored killers, Sam. See? I'm sure it won't be the last. Man, they, they got some... You must be a new guest. Uh, stripper names, but this guy doesn't look like a stripper I'm named ready, Rain. By the way. Wait, do I have to... <sighs> Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. We did a reading. A group reading, actually. With a special tarot deck. Your special tarot deck. Get it. You get it piecemeal. Not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably red-headed. That's violent. Mercury, it's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have he the is question, what kind so of you'd guy the buttons top. With Mercury, it gives you the question oh. <laughs> and the answer. I don't know. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. That's suspicious that she said um, isn't the first time there was a killer. Yeah. Yeah. I well, I don't have those particular slippers on, but I am wearing slippers that I got in the mail today. I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. Bronwyn? I thought her name was Brown. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Um, Dorota, Dorota Shaw, um, has a cousin named Cole. Cole Shaw. Sorry. Yeah. Next victim. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on a sec. We don't even know if there's going to be a next victim or not. We'll do another group reading soon, and then we'll have a better idea. Reading the cards. It says he has a penis haircut. Oops. Sounds good. <sighs> All right, Lexi. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Mi casa es mi casa. <laughs> Come on. Dale. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Everybody thinks that. It's such a cliche. A death card doesn't even mean death. Most of the time. <laughs> the Five of Swords. I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Isn't it the Hanged Man? I don't know. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota. And Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, Swords in general are bad. 
she's like my big sister, so... Arcadia! <laughs> Uh, the tarot reading, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Pure Arcadia and Crescentine are tarot readers, so... Got my eyes on them. No! The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tarot gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery-pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No. Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. Hope she's doing all right. I haven't spoken to her in a while. Uh, have you talked to her? Like, when was the last time you talked to her? I didn't say job. I said job. Okay. We make a um, cheese obelisk. A job. And depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. A chublet? Uh, several months, maybe. I, I haven't seen her stream in a, in a minute. She was actually tempted to do ASMR. Um, yeah, she would messaged me about that. Yeah, I can message her. I mean, I, I think she's still on the Discord. No, you don't. Oh! <laughs> Now she's very certain. Before she's all fidgety. Now she's. Now she's all cocky. We're gonna go back to. Mercury. Sure. I'll. Just get it. It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions. It more asks them. Do you want to ask your questions now? <laughs> it wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Mercury doesn't agree. <laughs> In fact, if anything, and I could be wrong, it's suggesting that you're not even the person you're saying you are now. Damn. I've only had that reading once before. I'm a shape-shifting detective. Find somewhere safe to transition. You're not a superhero. Wait. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Rain, I'm so worried about Bronwyn. What are we going to do? Why are you worried about Bronwyn? The chief thinks she killed Dorota. Maybe she did kill Dorota. That's not even funny, Rain. Bronwyn's the least murdery person we know. But okay, let's say she did do it. What possible reason could she have for killing Dorota? Psychopath psychopathic crime of passion? Maybe. Maybe Bronwyn and Dorota were secretly lovers. And Bronwyn found out that Dorota was seeing someone else and killed her in a jealous fit of rage. Or maybe it's just another one of your twisted late night fantasies. In which case, <laughs> leave me out of it. Well, doing that Skinamax, uh... <laughs> Damn. Have you met the new detective yet? We're basically under 24 hour surveillance now. Do you think Sam's onto us? Onto what exactly? The real reason we're here. What we did last night, our role in the murder. As far as Sam's concerned, me and Lexi were together and you were praying in your room. It's half true at least. This is, I, I like this premise. Was she in bed? What? Go to my room. Hello, I'm Violet. <laughs> I'm Violet. That 
That's crazy. I like the, the little twist. Hello, Violet. Is everything okay? I think I ignore the mess. I was just going to tidy it up. Mrs. Gallagher, an unexpected pleasure. How long are you planning to be here? In town? I really don't know. Until the tarot tells us to leave, or you kick us out, obviously. <laughs> How did you know Dorota was going to die? We didn't know she was definitely going to die, only that she was definitely in danger of dying. Tarot cards can tell you a lot when you know what you're looking for. You don't trust me, do you, Violet? Is it because I read tarot? Why don't you let me pull a card for you? Estelle, what's up? Okay. okay. Great. What do you want to know about? The murder. The murder. Interesting choice. So do the cards. Eight of Wands. Everything's happening all at once. We have to act fast, or at least someone does. Can we get a shout out for Estelle Freak, please? And also Joe Louis Serena and Slender Monk. I, I'm sorry that I didn't um, shout all of you guys out earlier. There we go. Thank you. I can I can do the shout out for Joe. Hold on for a sec. Oh, <laughs> nice. Damn. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um. <clears throat> I'm just Lexi. tired woke up thanks for the shout out you're welcome okay something's weird isn't it it almost seems strange today how are you do you think Dorota was planning on marrying Oscar what makes you say that why would you care well, nothing. It's just something I thought I saw. It, it doesn't matter. What's up, Lexi? I'm sensing something's on your mind. I'm worried about our alibi. Don't worry about that. We don't have anything to hide. I'm more worried about Ray. Since when did he start praying? You think he's lying? Of course not. This is Rain we're talking about. I was just saying it's odd, that's all. Maybe he's found God? Hello, Lexi. What can I do for you? Please don't ask us to leave. So, wait a minute. Why was she... When I changed into, uh, Rain... Uh, excuse me. What's her name? Violet was, was gone. Why, what's going on? When I switch into rain, Violet disappears.
Saw something updating, updating for Valhalla. It wasn't uh, sucked into New World. You'd be playing Assassin's Creed. Mm. It's my first playthrough. I'll have to wait, wait with the DLC. But yeah, Ragnarok is the new update. Interesting little twist. Hi. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. You know you want to say brown, you liar. <laughs> Bronwyn. Is there something I can help with, Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much trouble. Bron, something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but it's not right. Thoughts, Santa Rosa? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair. If there's another, there will be a pattern. Do you think it's another right? A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just have to try and stop it. Stop it? Stop it? Stop it? That's why right. when Slender comes in, I'm going to have this as like an alert. Bar stop it? Stop it? Bar stop it? <laughs> Just kidding. Barming? Stop. Yes, stop it. <laughs> if it's a traveler killing things. Traveler? Bron, you're acting weird. Are you still you? Of course. <laughs> no. Bronwyn's gonna answer the phone as he... <laughs> Bron, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm good. It's not our fault this stuff happens. We're just the messengers. We've seen a lot of stuff. Are you asking me or telling me? Yes, we've seen a lot of stuff. You seem weird. Just go and regroup or something, then come back and make me feel better about myself. Jesus. Do I do I tempt fate and visit Rain again? <laughs> he, he doesn't know what to think. I'm the chief. Hi, I. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. Hmm. Okay, so it wants me to turn into somebody. Okay. Oh, I had this dude spooked. Yeah, I'm Sam. Okay. Okay. All right, let's let's do the. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. You know, after um, he has Thanksgiving meals. New nickname is uh, Heavy Rain. Sorry, uh, no one wants to talk. I'm used to that. 
That's good. She's gone! Why is she gone? At least I tell myself the Slayer only takes those that the world is better off without. I find a good spot. I'm counting. The entrance to a yard. Deep in shadow, under dark walls with a shuttered double door. Just a drunk taking a piss. I stagger into the killing ground. For a moment, I, I think the footsteps are going to pass, but he, and it is always he, is just being careful before he doubles back. I take my time, leaning forward, hands on hips. The slayer quivers with it. Okay, whatever. I want to know why she, why Violet is always gone. Maybe she's afraid of... Hmm. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Ooh. I think this is maybe the third time I've been Violet, so I have Violet tendencies. Sorry. She could be scared of him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's like you're kind of psyching yourself up. It's like, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. You know, I'm... I'm Violet. Okay. Damn, he is just spooked. This dude is spooked out of his mind. Wow, they're all spooked. Okay, who who would they? He's the only one I I haven't. Hi, I. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude. How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. What was it I asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. Chief Dupont, what a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Who are you really, Bronwyn? Does it bother you, Chief Dupont, knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white? You don't know what to file me. As she's wearing black and, and white. That makes you uncomfortable. Or perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? I think you're under arrest. You're a con artist. You're a murderer. Murderer. I haven't asked anyone for a penny. Well, she started crying. Good evening, Chief Dupont. Ron will never been arrested? Not since I've met her. She's a lawful good type character. If you play D&D. <laughs> Lexi ever been in trouble with the police? Have I've never been convicted. No. <laughs> That's not what we asked. You charged with anything? My mind's gone blank. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, Chief Inspector, you gave me a shock. What is it? 
What have I done? Tell me about Bronwyn. She's an Aquarius. Her favorite color is green. What else do you need to know? I always like Aquarius women. Is she your leader? <laughs> Are you prepared? To <laughs> wow. Oh, I haven't done anything wrong. Aiding and abetting a criminal. I'll aim a bet Bronwyn to the day I die, but she's not a criminal. Why are you here in August? Well, it's not for the nightlife, she's I can tell you that. She's definitely getting defensive. This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. Do you know anyone here? What's wrong with the nightlife? There isn't any. And sometimes a girl needs a party. Is she taking off a, a, a ring? Hmm? Hey. Damn it. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. And she said he was young? Really? I'm far... So far I'm suspicious of Bronwyn and Rain. I'm suspicious of Rain. Because if I turn into him, the girl disappears. She heads for the hills. The, uh, Lexi. Don't read the paper, And Cindy. he was... Yesterday, convicted. Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner. He was charged with something. got a call from the mother just after 10 p.m. He was charged with something. Yeah. They're as thick as thieves, covering for each other. Well, except the male one. You'll see what I mean. What was Rain doing last night? As for Bronwyn and Lexi, I need you to ask what they were doing last night. Compare alibis. The tarot readers have mentioned a job. We don't know what. That's it. What was Rain doing last night? As for Bronwyn and Lexi, I need you to ask what they were doing last night. Compare alibis. The tarot readers have mentioned a job. We don't know what. That's it. Okay, and no one was just messaging me. Okay. So. Hello. I'm Violet. I wonder if Rain... I'm Violet. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Rain. He's so spooked. I was just like, yeah, I'm not me. Dude's just... I hope we're not being too much trouble. It's very brave of you to tell the chief that Dorota would be murdered and then stick around afterwards. I'd have run for sure. You strike me as someone braver than that. Why would I... Your prime suspect, aren't you? You look strong enough to strangle another woman. Even if you're innocent, a jury would probably convict you. Even if I'm innocent? 
You look strong enough to strangle another woman, too. Well, if you can't pay for your rooms, you might just find out. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow, that's one way of uh, saying departures. Whale shit. <laughs> man, oh man, these puns, I'm really, I'm really knocking it out of the park today. I, Lexi annoys me the most. She's not a fan. Welcome back. Okay. It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. I've driven by it, never actually been in it. Oh, I can ask I me. was in my room, praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. My prayer that the girl would be safe. Yeah, there, it's him. Maybe he. Maybe he did something to. What's her name? Violet. Maybe he got her to kill for him. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. No, I mean, yeah, I've already cleaned it off. She cleaned it off already? Okay. Her nails are not painted, no. In my room, reading. Oh! I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. No, not at all. Lexi popped in and we chatted for a bit, but that's all. Lexi. She never, she never came in the room. Okay. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21 year old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe. It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival. Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the like weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I Giggity. like getting wet. <laughs> Giggity. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, let's go see what's going on with Oscar. Who are you? Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. 
typical of them. Not long, a couple of months maybe. But we did care for each other. No, no one. It was really popular. If my older brother were straight, he would kind of he kind of reminds me of this guy. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. Hanging out. I left at about five. I'm playing football. It's just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. <laughs> yeah, it's big enough for two people to have sex in. <laughs> Not on all fours, okay. Oh god, do I really want to ask this? We shared a few kinks, nothing weird. Yeah, a band from the 60s. I'm not discussing this with you. <laughs> Shit. Close, manly. Manly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. No, that scared me. Even as a joke. Okay. What's going on with the radio? It would eat me if I refused. Perhaps starting with my brain, though it hadn't yet decided. I was curious about starting with feet. So I left and observed with the bag lady as I went and relayed my thoughts through the worm. A new life with the bag lady's worm inside my brain. So maybe, maybe Violet doesn't remember because there, maybe there's a worm in her head. Maybe they made her do it. Let's see. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out. At some point. Memory eating. I'm one. Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. Wow, okay. Okay, interesting. She's missing. He's missing. She's missing. What the fuck? Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Okay. Ah, Rain, can I help? About last night. Was there a problem? My tap was dripping, but I fixed it. Where were you? Dripping? Maybe I was in my bedroom. That's out of bounds to you. Don't forget the group reading, Ray. By which I mean, if you see Lexi, tell her not to forget the group reading. What's the plan? We still don't know what we're dealing with. There's every chance that it could just be a normal human murder. What if it's not a normal human? Then we have to assume that it's some kind of traveler. Like in Birmingham? A traveler from- 
from where, from when. We don't even know if it is a traveler yet. Let's just get the group reading done. Maybe then we'll have some answers. So, I, I'm assuming she's Irish. She has to be Irish. God, I can't stand this. <laughs> what do you think of Sam? Can't stand her. Oh, I'll totally hit that. Apart from the whole investigating Bromwin for murder thing, of course. But that's a minor flaw. I can work around it. I hear Sam likes you too. Oh, shit. Let's do it. Really? Well, you know, I'm not surprised. I am a total babe. I would totally... If I if I could change into, like, Slender Monk, I would... I would salt him so bad, like, I'd be like, oh, yeah, he, to he totally likes you. He totally likes you. You know? Dale. I would totally... Let's go to her. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Back on the Leave my What's going on, Nona? How are you? Nona, you're gonna you're gonna trip over this. You didn't get the notification. All right, so let me check this out. Visit the chief. Miss Castle. More unexpected pleasures. What did Dorota's boyfriend say about me? Something about a message you wouldn't deliver? Did you want him to be a special friend? Is that why you killed his girlfriend? I didn't kill Dorota. You have... You don't know what we've got, Miss Castle. That's between Sam and I. I was nowhere near Dorota last night. All right, now check this out. Watch this, Nona. Um, go to my room. I will turn into her. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, that kind of sound like Emma. We'll watch. I'm Lexi. I was trying to remember her name, but yeah, Emma's a Emma was a cutie. I liked her. Look who it is. Dorota had a boyfriend. Oscar. The guy I met this morning. The one I told you about. Yes. What did he want? Answers. Reassurance. Forgiveness. Wait a minute. I was... Do you think he killed her? Not considering what he asked me to do. I was... I pretended to be him. Wait, I was him, and I went there, and no nobody was I'm there. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Nobody was there. What? Yeah, they're gone. So there's a murder mystery, and I'm a detective that can morph into every everybody who I come into contact with. So I'm trying to get... There's a murder with these um, tarot readers, and I'm trying to get them to incriminate each other by having them confess to me what they would have openly told to someone, you know, that they're in cahoots with. But all of the tarot readers are gone. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. It reminds me of that Nickelodeon show. I'm Rupert. Is he spooked still? You can tell Sam about Birmingham. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a fact check. 
I don't really know, Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? Okay, go to my room. Okay, I'm gonna pr go as the. I'm gonna go as Oscar. Oscar. I'm gonna go to the chief do? and see what the chief says. Oscar? What are you doing here? I want to help. I know. We've already talked about this. You said you'd get into Bronwyn Castle's room somehow and have a look around. Why? I don't know. Maybe ask if you can go around. Women like vulnerable men. Do they? Is that true? I don't know. Do I look like vulnerable men? Oh, Just shit. Do whatever you have to, Oscar. I've got to concentrate on some other leads. So, uh, you can go now. Is that true? Is, really? I mean, she's not even in the room. Can I go snoop around? I can't snoop around. Okay, so we'll go as... Let's go with Sam. You have a sensitive side, so you fit that all. Well, okay, so I was saying this earlier, and I'm sure you'll agree. So if, with me, it's like, I have pretty thick skin, but when it comes to, I said, you know, maybe one person for sure, maybe two or three, maybe, like I'm trying to be generous, but one for sure. And I was like, if she sneezed around me, I'd be like, oh, what are you allergic to me? You're trying to say you're allergic to me? You don't like me anymore? You know, but like, I, you know, I'm usually, I usually have pretty thick skin or I, like way more put together, I guess. Yeah. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. No, I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Okay, you're Maybe a small. I, pretend I wouldn't say you're a large. Up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. <laughs> Slender, yeah, I get this. I've had enough of this crap. <laughs> you're so dumb. Well, not as you know it, anyway. Lexi says she was in her room last night. Oh! <sighs> she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Fine. Jeeve Dupont was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically, it'd be true. To protect Lexi, none of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I never no. usually lie. No, no. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. Okay, Rain's gonna... Sam. Yes. What can I do for you? Rain is going to tell me about... There was something that I gave him permission to tell me about before August. Birmingham. Birmingham, there we go. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travelers is... <laughs> Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. <laughs> well, 
That's just awesome, Sam. You won't mind if I check with her first, though, will you? She already said it, asshole. That was a church. You're, you know, Slender? Hold on. I'm out of this trap. Or, uh, hold on. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's louder than my button. Shut up, I'm talking. Hi. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Okay, so I have to go back in, visit this fucking guy. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? I, yeah, he already gave him permission. But shut up, I'm talking. What? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. I kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. Why should we do another reading? Looks that way. Have you been feeling possessed lately? Whoa, look at Why that. Why possessed? Sorry. Too soon. Whoa. Okay. We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board. To what get else the name. did you fucking have in this room? It kind of did. It's hard getting an exact name out of 78 cards. But considering we'd never heard of Dorota Shaw, it painted a pretty good picture otherwise. Well, no, no, I said Dorota Shaw had a cousin named Cole. Cole Shaw. Cole Shaw. Cole Shaw. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. <laughs> a lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. <laughs> Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Lexi. Just... This is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe <laughs> Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveler who died here. Do you think, like, do you, like, that's a good question. And if somebody, let's say, hypothetically, 50 years from now is dead, and we used a Ouija board now, could we talk to the person who's dead 50 years from now? What's going on, Winterfell? What is it? Um, this is a game called The Shapeshifting Detective, and it is a like a murder mystery, and I have to figure out... I have to ask these people... Right, let's get off this guy. If it was Bronwyn... Sure. <laughs> well, ask Lexi, or Bronwyn. They've got their own ideas, but my theory is definitely the more plausible. The plausible. Okay, so let me <laughs> leave for a sec. So what this is, is, I'm a detective and my name is Sam. And all these people that I see, um, I can go into my room, shape shift kind of like Shang Tsung into that character. Go talk to the other suspects in the murder and try to get them to incriminate each other and give me clues on who did the murder. Hi Sam, back for more already. Oh yeah, I said that supposedly I liked her. I didn't. 
How did you find out? Am I in trouble? It was only a little white lie, nothing else. It wasn't even that much of a lie. We're both here, in the guest house. We just happen to be in different rooms. If I had proof, why wouldn't I make this all up? I'm sorry, Sam, I really am. I know how this must look, but I couldn't kill anything, honest. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? <laughs> cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. I understand you've got places to go, people to see. Oh, she's jealous. <laughs> Traveller? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? God, she looks unhinged. Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess she must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? <laughs> okay, we need to go back to Rain. We're trying to save people. Seems a little off. Interesting. It's Lexi's. I like to think it works the way most metaphysical things work. Through energy. Tarot cards, runes, Ouija boards. They're just devices for asking questions and receiving answers. But energy is what powers them. I'm like, yeah, I've, I've had enough. <laughs> Vicar's son? No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Oh, wow, she fucking knows. Know about you? Well, what is there to know about you, Sam? I just mean people have an act. A facade. Oscar seems nice, but for all I know, he tears pretty girls apart. <laughs> we just, I think she's Irish. If, if you hear her accent, it's definitely, it sounds super, like, Irish, in my opinion. Okay. Okay, we're gonna turn into her and go see Bronwyn, cause... Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um... <sighs> I'm Lexi. <clears throat> Damn. Wait, let's go see the chief. When do we visit? Oscar's not there? The chief's not there? What? It's so weird when you're changing the people and other people aren't there. Okay, she's out of things to say. I feel sad for Oscar. Bronwyn said to stay away from him and the family. We're drawing too much attention to ourselves. We won't be able to finish our job. Job? Are you wearing a wire? You know why we're here, <laughs> don't need to say it. Say it. No. Stop being silly. Wow, they're all gone. That's so weird. She has to be. There's something about her that's very weird. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. All right. 
I find morphed into Nona, I'd be like, I'm Nona. Shut up. Can you hear that? Is that, is that a, is that a good, you know, good sound? Let's turn on the radio. A quest for understanding. Understanding. And climbing stairs can show that you're achieving your goals. Oh, so he is achieving his goals. So what I think is happening here um, is that you are striving for success, but you don't feel worthy of it. Um, and it could be you're suffering from imposter syndrome, which is actually quite, it's actually quite a common thing to suffer from. But what I can say to you, Simeon, is that you need to start believing in yourself. It's very important that you believe in yourself. And if good things happen to you, then please just embrace them. Embrace them and keep moving forward and keep striving for the best. Sounds like they're talking to Thank me. Thank you for your dreams. What? You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Owen Munro. Nightmares by Angela Atkins. Read by Jessa from the Jessa Channel. I didn't know where she came from. I was driving along, playing with the radio, and all of a sudden there's this woman standing in front of my car. Naturally, I slammed on the brakes and attempted to swerve away from her, but I still felt the thump of solid body connecting to my car. That's terrifying. There simply was no denying that sickening thump. When my car finally skidded to a full stop, I thought my heart would burst from my chest. It was pounding so hard. My hands trembled as I put the car in park. And I just sat there. The hum of the engine and a distorted voice from the now crackling speakers were my only company as I simply sat there. Everything in my head was screaming for me to go, to run. No one saw me. No one knew I even went for a drive. I could just run and, God forgive me, leave her there to be someone else's problem but this is the first time the radio's done this by the way i had to know i had to know if i had just killed this girl so i took a deep breath and looked in my rear view mirror the red glow of my brake lights illuminated the lump lying in the road behind me god that's gross a body there was definitely a body run Everything still screamed at me to flee. The feeling in your gut when you know something awful is going to happen and you need to get the fuck out of Dodge before you get caught up in it was raging in me. But here I was, unfastening my seatbelt and making myself open the car door. The interior lights came on and the annoying ding sounded to remind me that the keys were still in the ignition. I left my door open as I cautiously walked back towards a body that lay unnaturally twisted atop the pavement. I wanted to say I was breathing, but in all honesty, I think I was holding my breath, afraid to get a whiff of death. I was certain that it was a smell that would never let me sleep at night again. Welcome back. My legs felt like jello as I approached. One hand on the side of my car for support, the other outstretched in front of me, as if ready to catch myself when I inevitably passed out. I took a deep breath and lowered myself to the ground. Miss? My voice cracked and I cleared my throat, trying to retain the masculine depth that was currently hiding behind the remnants of puberty as fear swelled within me. <clears throat> Miss, are you okay? Wow. She lay on her back. Well, mostly on her back. 
Her legs were <laughs> twisted onto her side, but her upper body was twisted with her back flat on the road, face staring up into the sky. I saw her chest rise and fall. She was breathing. Okay. Short and shallow breaths, but she was breathing. Was I looked his... her over. Her face was partially covered in bloody hair. I wonder if this is his past crime. I clasped my hand over hers, reassuring her as she lightly squeezed my hand. Is he suffocating her? I spoke to her. Hang on. I'm going to call for help. Just please don't die. He's I tried to her. stay calm as I pulled my phone from my pocket and dialed. Her hand squeezed mine just a little tighter as I began to pull her hair away from her face. Her breath was becoming much more shallow and her grip weakened. That's... The operator answered after the second ring. Hello, what is your emergency? I hit a woman. It was dark, I didn't see her. I came around the curve and she was just there and I hit her and she's twisted weird and... My calm was unraveling. Sir, calm down. I could hear her typing what I was telling her. Where did this happen? I looked down at the girl as her chest stopped rising. Her eyes didn't blink and she no longer gripped my hand. I was gripping hers. I knew she was dead, but I still clung to her hand. Damn. Then she was gone. The blacktop rippled in front of me. It turned into waves that grew into a deeper and richer blue, like satin sheets, wow. like like satin bed sheets. In my car, I was, I was driving on, on, I stopped and blinked a few times as I sat up in my bed. All right, I'm going to, let me go question other people. What the fuck is going on? What happens if I go to the radio as her? Hi, I'm Lexi. Um. um I'm Lexi. What if she was like, I'm Lexi and I know it? It's a, I'm sorry. Dog sleeping in the kitchen doorway. I opened the door from the kitchen to the garage and flipped on the lights. I fell down in the doorway <laughs> and cried. My car was there. It was pristine. It was just a nightmare. I was still on the floor, wiping my eyes as I saw the familiar red and blue lights reflecting through my kitchen window. <laughs> this should be a fun thing to explain. Okay. Sue. All right, let's turn into her and see what's going on. Hello, I'm Violet. Which you would think, if I'm her hair, Violet. If her name was Red, it would be, you know, like Rojo or Red or something, right? I changed your sheets last night, and you aren't here. That door was locked and you said there's only one key so how would you know okay Lexi's gone tightly you're listening to Radio August, Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. The sheets were pee with stains. The Lady by David F. Schultz. What's going read on? by Venomous Platypus. Breathing seems so loud when you want to stay hidden. Time oozed like molasses, cowering in the closet, peering through the crack. What's up, Stitch? It floated there in the center of the loft. The Bag Lady. If it moved on, maybe escape was possible, but it just floated in the middle of the empty room, eerily silent. No, no, do you guys hear the difference in the radio? The vacant penthouse had a hallucinatory quality. 
dimly lit in blue. Um, and the tall glass windows that spanned the wall were many distant pinpricks of white. Okay, hold on. The lights of the city. It turn for a sec. Okay, so, um, Stitch, this is, it's a full motion video game, and I'm a huge fan, and, um, her name's Chrissy, it's Kristen A, she's a streamer, we both love, um, full motion video games. Actually, the interview I did with Leah Montalongo, um, she was a character in Mortal Kombat, did motion capture and full motion video. This is a game, this is a game that's based on, uh, that technology, so it looks like a movie, but you can kind of interact... So the story with this is there's a group of tarot readers that predicted that somebody was going to die. They got the murder right, and so I'm a detective that can shapeshift into other people. So I'm trying to shapeshift as other tarot readers that I'm interviewing to get them to incriminate each other to find out who the murderer is. And I'm thinking there's some kind of maybe subliminal messaging with that radio. That's my... Until it wasn't. Assumption. Altering its form like camouflage playing with the images and thoughts all called from its victims. There it floated, and then it turned to face me. Run or die, the door gave way from the stumbling push, and there was a long expanse of the room. Footsteps echoed on wood, the spinal shiver of pursuit up by a nightmare. A cold gaze grasped at my back. The air was thickened mud. Limbs slowed with each straining step, and then, stuck. I accepted my fate. Hoped it would be over quickly. A blink, and there it was. Clutching my shoulders with spider-like fingers. Black eyeless sockets led straight into its mind. It's gotta a be cold, that one. dark tunnel, and at the bottom a mirage. Those teeth. That carnivorous, circular maw closing down like a spiked coffin. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get, I'm trying to figure out who did it. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Hmm. I agreed to help. I thought to the bag lady that it will do no good for its disguise to float. Since human beings don't float. <laughs> okay. I spooked this guy, Nona. He wouldn't even talk. I can help, but I need clues. Yeah. Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean, I'm assuming this room isn't bugged. Although, knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. You think Violet's a voyeur? We need to talk about our alibi. What about our alibi? I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Are you sure it was a good idea? We should do whatever it takes. You're acting like we've got something to hide. Ron, is there something you're not telling me? You're the one who Why just- Why did you ask me to lie? Were you really in your room all night? Yes. Then stop with the cloak and dagger stuff, all right? The victim was a uh, female. You have so many predictions. What do you think, Rose? Um... I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I d what are you implying? It's just suspicious. I didn't even know the girl. You predicted her murder. Who's more suspicious? I'm truly sorry. I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Can't remember what for right now. Hmm. Oh, what if I... Okay, I have a... I have a I'm gonna do this. This shape shift is into rain. Hello. Red haired girl stop. Oh, there's. I'm rain. I'm rain. Iggy, what's up? How's it going? See, motherfucking wing. How are you? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Can we get a shout out for 
Do we, I think we did. I think we shouted out Nona, and if we can get Iggy Canned Up Beans, shout out, please. Um, let's go see. Let's go see the chief. He's gone. That's what I was trying to. He could tell me what I'd went to to jail for. Oscar's gone. Interesting. Very sus. The whole room. Whole room. Uh, like zoinks. The whole room is like. Old incessantly. Not these ones. Everyone's gone. Okay, Rain said stuff about uh, controlling uh, Broen, right? Uh, what if he's controlling others into killing? I think, yeah, I think, I think maybe him. I think maybe he did something. Maybe Lexi got Violet to do it. I'm thinking. Okay, so she doesn't want to talk either. Hmm. And she was, she had disappeared when I was using him. Hi, I, <clears throat> hi, hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Oh, <laughs> let's let's try this. Oh well, let me visit myself. Chief Dupont, there's been loads of people coming around asking questions. I don't even know half of them. Bronwyn is still prime suspect. Oh shit, dude. Not that I know of. She collected thimbles. She said she didn't need any. She had hard calluses on her fingers from all the cello. She uh, got strangled in Dorota's bedroom. Did Dorota have any enemies? Maybe anyone else going for a Juilliard scholarship? But other than that, not really. Bron Bronwyn is still prime suspect. I know, I agree. Because she tipped you off? If I manage to get into her room, what am I looking for again? Do no, no, doesn't he kind of- Anything that ties her to the murder. Doesn't he kind of remind you of Ricky? Kind of. You're going to break and enter. No, we talked about this. You said I could help, so I'm helping. Okay. What happens if we turn on the radio with him? Added, while I watch from the crack of the closet. I always watch from inside the closet. Okay, inside the closet. Welcome to Poe's Curiosity Shop. There you go, Ellis. What's this object, do you think? Well, um, it's quite heavy, and it feels like maybe, I think perhaps it's metal of some sort. Um, it's like an yeah, ancient the closet. animal, but I'm not sure. What uh, animal do you think it might be? It's... Hmm. Okay. Why is Sam still questioning me? Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Are you threatening me? Exactly. What? Mr. Hedges. <laughs> the man you asked me to put up who then, you know, died. And then what? Is that gonna be on? Is that gonna be on the radio? Yeah, I think so. The chief sent on it. What? You have a recognizable knock, Chief Tupac. I'll remember not to answer next time. Do you know Dorota's boyfriend? I've met him once. Yes. Just the once. 
This morning. What did you talk about? The weather and some other things which I'm not at liberty to discuss. Feel free to ask him, though. Okay, so now he's missing radio. Okay, so what happens if I go to the radio? It's long. Lighting up another cigarette. Cough. 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 The dais, if you can call it that. The mossy oh, slab know. besides Carnby Stream. The clouded sky picks out highlights in the water as it travels past jutting rocks and reeds. It's a calming juxtaposition to the lifeless vessel in front of him. Cough. Cough. Coughing violently and uncontrollably, Lung adds his own blood sample to the victims. He drops a barely touched cigarette to the floor and squishes it with his boot heel, wiping his mouth with a now bloodied sleeve. He reaches into his jacket for something. Another cigarette. Gotta find me a good one, he mumbles. Shut up. After lighting up, he produces. Very subliminal messages, though. They always show the radio. She's gone. What happens if I turn on the radio? Coughing up blood. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? That's, it's just sus, you know? Like, why are they not there? Why can't they see them? They should still be there. I just talked to them. She's gone. We just talked to her. Rain's gone. Oof. Braun, Braun one's gone. Lexi's gone. That is very, very, very sus. They were told to avoid Oscar. I need to ride the red haired girl. Okay. <laughs> herself okay her body her boudoir photographs taken who do you think those photos were for Sam her mother it sounds like jealousy doesn't it you think so not really just gossip Apparently, she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. <laughs> Weston's photographic. Zach Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset. Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic, off the high road. Oh, high road. It's late, but he's always there. I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Absolutely, yeah. Let's get a it's seven o'clock, and here's the latest August update. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be mm -hmm. vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Poe, 
I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. <laughs> also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue well, and Church Street line. following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. <clears throat> I'm not going anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. <laughs> what kind of question is that, Stitch? Yes. Uh, what do you want? The Shores. Oh. You mean that girl who got killed? What was her name? Uh, Dorothy? I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Wait. Dorota. Dorota. I remember now. I have a bag of Dorotas in my room. Sorry. Just kidding. Um. <laughs> it's important. I say talk to the chief as the girl. The redheaded girl that I was just talking to? Uh, Violet? So what does Detective Shapeshift into? Or is that so... All the people like this guy... Um, the r Violet, all the people that you see me talk to, I can shapeshift into them. So, like, the, the girl I was talking to, Violet, I could shapeshift as her, go see this guy, and he would tell me things that only they know, and then I would have information to incriminate. Yeah, so let's, let's, here, watch this. We're gonna go to the guest house. Alright, so we go into the room. We're going to shapeshift as her. We're going to turn into her. Hello. I'm Violet. I'm Violet. So let's leave. We're going to hail a cab. I'm going to go visit Zach. Oh, well, hello, gorgeous. Boom. Did you hear... I came... Did you hear about Dorota? Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. Everyone in town's heard. So She's she wasn't there. Now. Local celebrity. Okay, um, he asked... He asked the one girl if she was threatening him. Uh... You mean... Like Violet? With a plot twist, this would be. If these people weren't real, you would actually. Actually, Detective, you would just be a dude struggling with split personality disorder. Mmm. I don't. Who knows? Famous for being murdered? That shall she be remembered anyway. Jesus. Alright, so let's go to the guest house. No, no, you're thinking, I don't remember because I was doing my makeup at the same time. Okay, so he's gone. Lexi's door's locked? Jane, what the fuck? Okay, Stale. so they've got her completely locked out. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, hold on. I can only change into the dudes? The girls are gone? Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. What the fuck? Okay. You have a lovely guest house. It is quaint, isn't it? It's all my parents had when they died. 
We're literally sitting in my inheritance. How did your... God, this is going to be fun. Oh, let's ask her. Father died first. Heart attack. They found him in the freezer when mother died. She had a pulmonary embolism. Mm. They didn't really talk Damn. to her much. Freezer? Yes. She kept him in the chest freezer because she didn't want to be alone. Stored him perfectly. Still use it today. Oh, shit. That's so weird. Where did they go? He's still gone. He's gone. Rain! <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. I take it you know about Dorota already. All that stuff we talked about yesterday, that's strictly between you and me. What stuff? That's the spirit. Now, I think it's best if we don't get caught speaking to each other. Overcautious, I'm sure, but I think it's for the best, nonetheless. Maybe we can get together for a lad's night out after this is all blown over. Yeah? Okay. Great. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't know if she has a boyfriend. Hmm. Just vote him. Oh, and the last question. Um, what's being solved? Like the mystery tent, a murder. So there was a girl <clears throat> that was murdered in the hotel and a group of tarot readers had predicted that this girl's gonna be murdered. And all these people here, the, the numbers right here, um, those are the suspects, and they've got me locked out now. They have their doors closed. Hi, I... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Interesting. I can't visit. What's his name? The photographer. Interesting. She doesn't want to talk. Interesting. Mm, I'm thinking Lexi. I think Lexi did it. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. <laughs> Wait, so I'm in a hotel and I'm having someone whose last name is Weston stay in my hotel? What the hell? Zack, what are you doing here? Don't Why don't you want anyone to see me? What? You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? I wanted to make sure we were still okay. What did you do? What did you say to Sam? Everyone's talking about Dorota. Everyone's talking. I know, but I suppose people like that attract trouble. People like what? Is that- That's not funny, Zack. What if Sam heard? 
Are you happy Dorota is dead? I didn't say that. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. Oh, okay. She didn't throw herself at me. Don't play games with me, Zack. You know how insecure I get. Yeah. Zack, let me stop you there. Um, you are one creepy fellow. Now, I, I don't know what you had going on with the rotor, but I don't want anything to do with it. Yeah. Do not come back here. Please. I, I, I thought they were buddies that were supposed to go hang out and have a brouhaha. All the girls are gone. Excuse me. What's going on with the radio? Good question. I do not know. Oh, gosh. You can have it back. I personally just use it to flatten bed sheets. Poe's curiosity shop is now closed. Welcome to Poe's curiosity shop. Interesting. That sounded like the chief. fuck is going on like there's half the cast is gone what? okay let's go as sam fucking sausage party up in here jesus i have no idea sam you should ask him about that Do I? Well, then you probably should. What's going on, kid? Yeah. Sam, look, I, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Got to pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in till late too. I, I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? We've got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Seriously though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? This poor f fucks like just sitting there. Hello, Sam. I bet he is. It was that thing I told you about, Dorota. I mean, I didn't know it was her then. He wanted to show me these explicit photos of her, but I refused. And that's when he told me about her being alone on Mondays. I wonder who else he told that to. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Tell me. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl. Turned up for what? Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The Traveller wanted three. You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. <laughs> I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. 
some religions talk of demons, but they don't actually exist. Uh, travelers can get inside us and make it look like we're possessed, hence the demons. Yes, disturbingly. Uh, it's actually a lot more complicated. Funny that Nona and I talk ab um, I've talked about this before. They choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. Is my character a they demon? They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh, no. Um, he did mention the rota. He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. He said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was the road to shore. I just told a famous streamer to put their elbows together, and she did, and it popped out. <laughs> okay. If you have anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who are they for? There's definitely a strong connection between those two then. Well, unless they were for Oscar, I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out. Damn. Did <laughs> damn. For the August Chronicle, uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. Jeez. I think they're animals. If you ask me to drive there without my sat-nav, no. Friends, yes. <laughs> I know Violet very well. I guess. Violet takes it very well. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I like him like that. For the frosty exterior comes a soft, warm center. I'm sorry, my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. Damn. Rain. Yes, the tower reader. Delightful fella, but I couldn't offer him anything. He asked if he could do readings for my customers while they waited. Can't have that, really. It's retail ambush. He offered, but I declined. There's no such thing as fate, detective. If there was, you could stop investigating right now. If you're supposed to find a killer, you will. Why put in the effort? Here. I'm usually here most nights. I live here, detective. Long story short, I'm divorced. My wife bought the house, my business is all I have left. Is that a Tootsie Pop? Oh, what? The hell? You, what? No, actually, I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. Oh, shit. I have to enlarge myself, block the screen. As you can see. Photos here. They're on the cello. Yeah. Now this one's in color. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. 
Another one here. Ooh, hang on. Do you see what I see? I don't see an IC. Um. Choker? Um. Oh, you're you slender my part. <laughs> I don't see anything. Nothing. She's just a very attractive girl. That's all. Jesus, I you sure? What do you mean? I don't think I like what you're implying, Detective. Is that all? It's 8 o'clock and time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. Like these colors. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's tulip festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. Heavy so if rain. If you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cab. Damn. That's eight o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Sam, um, I've got news. See, I like her. I think she's a cutie. We've done a reading. You're next, right? Am I gonna die next? Five of swords. Five of swords. That's the same card as yesterday. Some hairy hands. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of playing all three again? One in 474,552. I, I say you lot. throw the card deck against the wall and then you pick Best up a random card. Swords. It's happening again. There's going to be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. The host of the radio thing? You must be Sam. I just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. Chris Dorota? Now me. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is a nice little cliffhanger to end on. Um, thank you all for tuning in, but let me see. Uh, can I raid somebody? Can I raid somebody? And... Um... Do, 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 do. Um, let me see. We can raid. Um, I'll raid Soul Escape. Hold on for a second. Nona raided her once. I'll raid her. All right, guys, I hope you have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. I'll probably do ASMR tomorrow. But uh, here we go.